functional and non-functional requirements. If we explore the product requirements in depth, then product requirements include both functional and non-functional requirements. The functional requirements involve what the system will do or execute precisely. It is what the software can do. Usually, a tester can perform a simple test to see if the software possesses such a requirement or not. For example, the system can add, delete, or print a record in a database. They are sometimes known as capabilities or features. Non-functional requirements, despite how stupid and confusing it is to call something non-functional, but it's the term that has been around for years. Non-functional requirements are qualification criteria, characteristics of the software, or may be referred to as quality attributes or ability attributes. It describes how the software will execute its tasks. So, it is the how the software will perform its functional requirements. When we say the system will print the record quickly, quickly here is a non-functional requirement. We can also say that the printed report will be nice to look at. This is also a non-functional requirement. I think of non-functional requirements more as the adverbs or adjectives to apply to the functional requirements. Quote, therefore, the system shall assign a unique tracking number to each shipment. Close quote. This is a functional requirement because it tells us what the system does or assigns. Quote, the system shall display the due date of payment as month, day, year. Close quote. This is also a functional requirement because it tells us what the system will display. An example of non-functional requirement is, quote, with 100 concurrent users, a database record shall be fetched over the network in less than 3 milliseconds. Close quote. If we divide this sentence, we'll find shall be fetched being a functional requirement, while less than 3 milliseconds is a non-functional requirement. It tells us how the system will fetch such a record. We can find a website that works very well, but once there is a load in the number of users, like 100 concurrent users, the website slows down and may even crash. So scientifically speaking, this website has followed the functional requirement, but not the non-functional requirement. Did the developers test the functional requirement beforehand? Of course, but did they test the non-functional requirements? Probably not. Let's talk more about non-functional requirements in the coming videos.